Hi, I'm Claudia Brown Coulter with Pivotal Peace. I'm your go-to mediator for navigating divorce while parenting children with special needs. I'm also a legal document assistant LDA based in the greater Los Angeles area. Today I have a controversial topic for you, and that's forgiveness. You know, a lot of times I don't bring it up because people have some definite feelings about it, and it's usually full of rage. Ah, forget that. No, I will never forgive them. What right do you have to tell me to forgive? Okay. But, you know, it might really help you a lot. Forgiveness has nothing to do with that other person. It's all about you. It is all about you. So let's really talk about forgiveness and what it means. <sighs> Sometimes people, when they go through a divorce, wait, why did I start that with sometimes? Many times when people go through a divorce, they are petty AF. They are so, so petty because they are mad. They are mad about what has happened to them or what happened to them because of their behavior. But either way, you know, they're the victim. And so they are so mad that they take it out on you or you take it out on them because they haven't dealt with the, the pain. They're not mature enough to handle their emotions. And so they perpetuate pettiness and the conflict continues because they refuse to operate in forgiveness. All right, let's say you are married to somebody who is petty AF. They're gonna keep being petty. And it doesn't matter how much you forgive, they're probably not going to change. Now, if you're the petty person and you choose to forgive, that'll that'll definitely change you. That'll definitely impact the outcome of your divorce. But forgiveness is solely about you. It is solely about your health, your physical health, your emotional health, your mental health, your spiritual health. Forgiveness is a gift for you. If you continue in bitterness and unforgiveness, it will only hurt you. And psst, by the way, you don't need to tell them that you've forgiven them. Don't tell them. Remember, it's not about them. This is about you. Okay, so let's talk about why it matters. Forgiveness can kind of clear out some of that emotional clutter. So that when you go into a mediation, you're able to be more objective in your decisions. I find, though, when you are really angry, meditating can help calm you down and, and help you forgive. But that doesn't happen if you don't have a practice of forgiveness. So let's talk about forgiveness and what it means and how it applies to you. So first of all, forgiveness does not mean that you excuse their behavior. It does not mean you forget their behavior. It does not mean they are no longer held accountable for their behavior. It does not mean that there are no consequences for their behavior. It does not mean that you need to reconcile and invite them back into your life so they continue to commit that behavior. No, it means you've released them. You've released them to a higher power, so to speak. You've released them to God or the cosmos or the universe so karma can come bite them in the ass. That's what forgiveness means. It's, you. what are, what are you going to do? Do you have the legal or cosmic power to repay them for the harm that they've done to you? Really? Releasing them. Forgiveness is an opportunity to release them. They can get what's coming to them. And by the time they get what's coming to them, you're not going to care anyway because you've released them. I know it's kind of funny how that works. You know, if you've had something that went bad in a relationship and you just want an apology and you finally get that apology, it doesn't matter anymore because it's been so many years. You've moved on. You're like, oh, it finally came. Oh, whatever. It didn't change anything. Oh, let me say this. We should do one on an apology. You can forgive without an apology. You should forgive. 
an apology may take years to come your way. The apology is for the person who offers the apology. Forgiveness is for the person who needs to forgive. They're kind of exclusive. You can forgive without an apology and you can apologize and not be offered forgiveness, but still be able to move on. Reconciliation requires both of those things. And that is not what we are talking about today. So forgiveness exists on a continuum from, I hate your effing guts, but I'm going to forgive so that, you know, I, I feel some sort of health. I hate you. I forgive you. It's kind of grumble, right? It's true, right? It's, it's an act of will. And I found that when you speak forgiveness out loud, it works really great. Like, I cannot believe you did. And then you list the things and then you list exactly how you feel about them. I hope you burn in hell and all the other things you want to happen to them. And then you end it with, I forgive you. Now, do not, do not comment. That does not sound like forgiveness. I know. I know. I don't care. Forgiveness first starts with honesty. You have to be honest about how you feel. Don't be lying to yourself. Be like, oh, it's okay. I forgive them. Everything is happy and good with the world. Even though, oh no, I really don't want them to burn in hell. Like, no, I haven't been planning their funeral and hoping that they would drop dead. No. <laughs> be honest. You're going through a divorce. You, It would probably be easier if they were not on this earth anymore, but they are still here. So in a lot of ways, divorce is worse than death because that relationship is gone, but that person is still here. You're grieving and not everybody's grieving with you. I've talked about this before. So it starts with being honest, be honest with yourself. And the next day you're going to have to forgive again and it'll be a little bit easier. And these are things you just say to yourself. Oh yeah, I forgive them for that. I for oh, let me go back. I forgive you for that. You're not talking to them. Do not talk to them. Do not call them. Do not tell them you've forgiven them. Just say their name. Johnny, I forgive you for X, Y, and Z. You might have to throw the middle finger at them <laughs> in the process, but I'm serious about this. As you do this, it will become easier and easier. All right. So the reasons why people don't like to forgive is because they feel like it gives somebody a pass for their behavior. They feel like it's excusing their behavior. They think that it means that they don't, they're not held accountable. They also feel like the onus is on them now to open them with welcome arms and just go come back into my life. It means none of that. It means you are getting the opportunity to release your pain. And when you release that pain, it allows you to heal. It allows life and light to come back into your life. You feel lighter. There is joy. You can feel the sun on your face. That heaviness that you're carrying, it's, it's, the load is beginning to lighten. And what it does is it takes power away from the person who harmed you. You never, ever, 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 ever need to go to them and say, oh yeah, I forgave you for that. Because they're going to be like, they're going to take advantage of you or attempt to, or be like, I didn't do anything wrong. I can't believe you said you forgive me. Well, I'm, they're just going to make it worse. Don't say nothing to them. This is not about them. This is about you. Yeah, I said chew. Chew is about you. I take this so seriously because it is incredibly powerful. It has nothing to do with religion. It's incredibly powerful for your own sanity, for your own mental health, so that you are not stuck in the past. And it allows you then to walk into mediation and be able to negotiate. The things that make you mad might cause you to laugh like look at this sick sad petty little person oh that's funny okay 
right? And those things that used to bother you about them, they're not gonna, there are their ability to push your button, your buttons, it's not gonna be as powerful anymore because they no longer have that grip, that stronghold on you. They're no longer sitting in your mind. A stronghold happens in your mind. And when you forgive the tentacles, those things, they begin to release. This is about your own healing and this is about your own freedom. So when I ask you to forgive, I know you don't want to. Just like when I ask you to be the bigger person, you're like, why me? Why not you? Don't you deserve happiness? Don't you deserve to walk through life with some joy? Okay, let's lighten your load. Start walking in forgiveness. Remember, it doesn't excuse behavior, nor does it pardon behavior. And you are welcome to remember all that they did. You are welcome to do that, right? Just don't let it have power over you anymore. This isn't easy. I am well aware of that. But like I said, it's a continuum. So start when you're really grumpy and pissed off. And pretty soon over time, it'll get easier and easier. And before you know it, it's gone. It's gone. They might still be messed up, running circles, and they're saying little petty nonsense, but not you. You'll be well past that. I know you can do this. Please give it a try.